In this video series, we're looking at the link between autism spectrum disorder, or ASD, and the gut microbiome. In our last video, we looked at the important role the gut microbiome plays in development, and how gut development can impact developmental critical periods. In this video, we're going to look at gastrointestinal issues and alterations in the gut microbiome in children with autism spectrum disorder. Increasing research shows that there are more gastrointestinal issues and important alterations in the gut microbiota in children with developmental disorders including autism spectrum disorder, which impacts their overall quality of life. Several studies report that children with autism spectrum disorder are more likely to experience gastrointestinal symptoms, including abdominal pain, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, and reflux than their typically developing peers. Restrepo and colleagues in 2020 actually found that children with ASD are three times more likely to experience gastrointestinal problems than their peers. In addition, research indicates that children with ASD are more likely to experience multiple GI symptoms concurrently and experience a significantly higher number of GI symptoms than their peers. Overall, the research shows us that children with ASD experience more frequent and significant GI issues, which significantly impacts overall quality of life. There is a large body of research that indicates that the gut microbiota, as well as the overall makeup of the gut microbiome, is significantly different in children with autism spectrum disorder compared to their typically developing peers. One study worth highlighting is from Wen and colleagues in 2021, who showed that children diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder have an altered or impaired development of the gut microbiome. It presents as underdeveloped compared to their age-matched peers. This alteration in development could play a critical role in the development of this neurodevelopmental disorder. While strong evidence indicates that the gut microbiome is altered in children diagnosed with ASD, a link between a specific composition of gut microbiota and ASD is well, not established. More research is needed to understand autism spectrum disorder, its core symptom presentation, and what the possible role of the gut microbiome is. If you liked this video, check out our next video in the series where we look at the link between gastrointestinal issues and autism related behaviors. As more research supports a relationship between behavioral and gastrointestinal symptoms in ASD, it becomes paramount to understand the link between the gut microbiome and the core presentation of symptoms in ASD. If you want to read more about what I've talked about today, or you want to know where all this information is coming from, check out our blog. The link is in the description.